Hey guys, this is the Java Python doing this world tour. So let's start in this area no one's seen yet. I'm in a copy of the world for the pre-1 testing. Um, I've only done the first of his two episodes. I've already got my super horse, who I'm taking. Open. Stick me on the horse. Yes, thank you. What? No, not this way. This way. Super awesome horse. That goes down to where I normally keep my horses. Which I should get. Ice farm is up there. Ender pearl collection. Iron Titan. All the way up there. Bridge. Sorry again for background noise. Last one always has some friends over. And they're kind of loud. That's a charcoal machine. That was my slime chunk before I checked the height. This is a mob farm XP record system. And I show you, proved to you that this is a copy of the world. I'm not cheating by being in creative mode. That was my best horse. Okay. So then if we go into darkness, into my base. Uh, by the way, that goes to the iron, whatever. My gigantic iron farm. That was really complicated to build. My base is obviously bigger on the inside. We've got some water glitches, but I like the sound. This whole thing works. TNT dispenser. Skull. This is a door. I have all my beacon beams blocked, too. Help with frames. Down here is my... I need iron. My... Storage room. Do things like this. It's all the storage I need. I only really need a few chests. I have a bunch because I don't like to throw anything away. That goes to the nether, which is going to be a whole nother segment. This is another combination lock, which opens this room. Okay. That activates my slime farm. You've seen down there, it's where I made the spiral door. Epic mega computer. Down here this is where I keep my passive mobs. However, they they're not deleted. They've gone unrendered. That's what people don't get. The mobs don't get deleted. If I click around, yeah, here we go. Here's one. They go unrendered. Uh, also, this way is a horse door, and this goes. To that kind of tunnel style you saw up at the start. And this is speedometer. Okay. So This door is only open when it's not night. If it's night, I have to sleep in my bed to open it. It forces me to set my spawn. Now there are two paths here. Let's go this one first. This is a door that takes four items to open. And this whole area isn't done yet. There's a skeleton farm. I'm doing the world tour in my creative copy world because... It's honestly way easier. I'm not op, so you know. Wait, um, say hi. Yeah, see, not op. This is my snow farm. It might still work. No, it's broken. I used to have a chicken right here. Not right, chicken farm. See, I blocked off this beacon beam as well. Pretty cool. We 
We have this fishing machine. This is a smelter. Airlock style door here. It goes two ways. The first and more complete way. This one. Through here. Nothing can spawn here. I also have the beacon beam block beacon beam blocked off. And here. I like the chalkboard, it's even got chalk. This gives off light, which is really good, really useful, because very little. So this does. is where I built EJ Monkey's door for me. It's not quite working. And it's like a one way trip, so I'll show you that later. Well, it's a, not a one way trip, I wouldn't be able to get back. This, really cool, if I grab some of the glowstone, you can see I used obsidian, nether brick, and coal. So much detail that no one really sees, because there's not, it's a creative world, I'm not going to actually play in this one, so I think this is okay for me to do. And over here is the library, which some ice melted in yeah I don't want to go over it I think I have a dragon egg in there though this is a tree that didn't turn out like I wanted it to this is a spider farm that never worked and I never actually put a chest in because it never worked okay This is a spider farm that apparently they're still they got loose and this is the only way out. Yeah. Okay. So this is my ice farm. This is my iron farm with Ender Pearl collection system. And where is it? It's this way, I think. I am not in peaceful. No. And I'm locked. Okay. Never mind. Can't save myself a few frames. And there's my uh mob farm. Anyway, let's go through this portal, which hooks up to my base portal, so it's the exact same effect. This one has a bunch of pop. They both have tons of poppies on the other side. This is my nether hub. This is why I wish I could turn it to peaceful. Yay. So, the floor tells you where you're going, what's on this slice. There are eight slices two of them don't actually go anywhere yet no tunnels out uh, and this is a nether brick smelter that I ran out of charcoal for so let's cover some of the small areas then I'll make the super long tracks out this goes emerald and gold goes to villagers one of every kind up here and if we go up here, there's a slime machine, which goes to my gold farm. However, I, the gold farm and the gold farm collection are two different places, so. Oh, I didn't shut off this beacon. Could I have not done that? So, as you can see, this goes four different places, but we're taking the gold route. <coughs> okay, so, this is the gold farm. Apparently, there's some hopper minecart duplication glitch. Hey, they fixed it! These guys render now. 
Boom. I only had the name tags in my ender chest for lightning creepers, and I named them all the same thing, so. Yeah, you go. Keep moving. Yes, thank you. It's all empty. So first, we do this one. If you look, you saw andesite, sea lanterns, and hay bales. What on earth has all that? This is the only portal in this side. And it goes to this place I made out of andesite, sea lanterns, and it's an automatic farm. It doesn't work anymore. And I don't think it was ever loaded much. I never added a way to get the items. It's just a chest. The few times I found where I wrote down the coordinates and then looked it up. Uh, pillared up. I never even cleared this stuff out. You've only got bread, really. This way? Down the obsidian road. That goes to my horse area. There's a portal midway up this one that. first. Okay. So I've been doing some deforestation, not much. Oh, this isn't where the temple is? No. Nope. So, yeah, that's one of the things. Portals I have difficulty with. Three portals line up at one point in the nether hub. Three different places in the overworld quite far away. This goes to the end portal. I know that. I haven't done anything to the room. Even the spawners here. Here's the end. You want to get out? You go this way. Some building supplies. Really nothing in them. Come here. There's some issue with this, uh, and it spits them out. So there's this, and as we can see, ender pearls are coming. So this goes to two places, and it will eventually be three. This will be my sort of good land as well. Okay, okay. You see this crossroads? The way I'm currently going will take me to a fishing hut, so I can AFK there, here, and have. In theory, it didn't work. All my farms in the spawn chunks of the overworld running at max didn't work. But okay, guys. Whatever. So I think it's a simple fishing hut. Uh, you always get some endermen spawning on it. I can't, I can't stop that. Got a ton of fishing rods. I only gotten two sticks from this. And now, if I head this way... Okay, guys. As you can see, it's been some time. I probably edit it to not be much. A couple thousand blocks away. I thought I was in peaceful, but apparently not. We have this. No design. Currently, it's in Ender Pro mode, which kills him instantly. XP mode is pretty simple. It's how I've been over a hundred levels. As you can see in this world, I'm pretty rich. Quartz, sandstone, gold, lapis, sea lanterns, glowstone. I don't mind doing this sort of stuff, clearly. But, let's kill most of the ones that come. That's actually it for the end. So guys, I found this minecart truck that I never finished, which goes to one of the garden farms. Okay, well, some pigmen had spawned, so... I know I'm close. Yeah, here's one of the good places to farm for skulls. Okay, and in. 
This is the one I left alone. You've seen me do some work here. Tons of under pearls, tons of lava. <laughs> yeah. Where I go when I need some of this stuff. This one I'm just leaving as it is. Kinda cool. This one's called a Traxy 3, and if we come over here, we even got one. Used to be filled with water, but it didn't work at the squid farm, so why bother? It's now just cool. Okay, so I'll just show you the last two more things about this. Awesome door that goes in. Really quick on closing. Jump pad up. And this way, too. Oh man, didn't work. Anyway, I now have to get back. Let me show you just how big of a project this was, though. Oh, I used to plan having my spawn set out here. If it was, I wouldn't be able to get in after I'd slept to the first time. Surrounded in ice. Alright, so that's the level of dedication I put to project. I cleared this down maybe a week. Okay, that was this way. This whole section is done. Except for this. Do I go to the Guardian Farm? Do I go here? Let's do a wedge by wedge. So that's my base. Let's do this last wedge. As you can see, I've been half slapping the nether. Yeah, I see. Oddle. Of course, dirt. It's a mega tiger, alright. You can see why I did the, uh. Moss stone. Okay, that's wedge one. And two. Now, wedge three is empty. So now this one. Now if we look, we can see this goes to a swamp, a witch hut, a mesa, a my gold farm, and a guardian farm. And this shows it goes to more than just me. So you've seen the gold, and most of the stuff's pretty close. Except the guardian farm. As a gas. Very glad I'm in creative mode. Okay, now as we can see, we get both the wood and the desert up here. Like here's a witch hut. And I have a bed here in case I'm going to set my spawn. Tunnel, I came out on the one farthest, and if I go into this one. Should stick me in a desert well. But nope, we're in the exact same this place. One. It's clearly the one that goes to the mesa and to the dark oak forest. I'm pretty sure that there's a stronghold around here. I came here pretty early in my world's existence. Need wolves. Village? Village works. And that goes up and goes on for some ways. But goes this. to the well. Okay, so the temple isn't working. And that or there's a temple really close to one of these things. I'm not noticing. There's no door in here or anything. I haven't done that. Ah, yeah, see? See, I've been working on leveling this. If I get a map. I 
I've done some work in that lower right corner. So here's my current farm. I didn't make it as big an area. That's it. That's my farm. I'm not sure if that's actually the right box location. But it works. So as you can see, we have guardians. Okay, so we've done this whole one. We've gone here. Here. Here, here. That leaves this wedge, which has one portal. And hold on, lag. This one, which has three. Let's go the glass road. Yeah, that worked quick. So this is the mineable mesa. Got some random junk in here. Not much. Uh, those are demonstrator boots I got over somewhere. This is the mesa I've been working on mining, but I filled chests of clay and honestly don't need that. So much. this last road's been kind of damaged by gas attacks recently. Well, not not recently, a few months ago. Mints. I haven't fixed it. Uh, but it's nether brick snow and mycelium. Mycelium in real life is like the roots of mushroom, so it's kind of a weird block in the game. And snow. Both leave. Now nether brick's gone. It's hard to tell, but it leaves here. And this is where I typically do my wither skull farming. And it's really not hard. And then this is packed ice. As you can see, epic packed ice biome. Ice plane spikes biome. Uh, really cool. I've only actually torn down one or two spikes, so. Sylvan looks cool. I'm thinking of replacing the packed ice with ice in there next time I okay. go. Here we are. And EJ, let me give you an idea of the level of work I put into my projects. Um, the nether hub is at 3030. My base is at 200, 200, well, 250, 250. But cow, sheep, pig, chicken. Right, you hear that? That's pig. That's chicken. And then I have wheat here. I have this awesome parts of the Caribbean. Caribbean, however you pronounce it. Awesome black sail, even use black banners. We got the rudder. I teen I use TNT to make the lake. So yeah, EJ, it's your choice whether or not you want me. Uh to join but you've seen the level of dedication I put into my work uh, I do that both on this world in the actual survival and on that world in survival uh, yeah you hear all that okay yeah and then, if I continue climbing this, we go to the pig farm. What does this go to? Okay. Oh, that's how I farm get in. Okay. But yeah, that's about it. So yeah, it's your choice. I wouldn't have you copy anything I've built, though. I would just keep it in my single-player world. And then also do it there. It's your choice. I'll be a fairly active person in the community, but it's up to you. What does this do? Oh, yeah, that opens this from here. Okay. I haven't been in this world in a while, actually. Let me just show you guys my slime farm. Hey. In the course of an hour, I got two slime balls. Which means actually I got quite a ton because I completely emptied this thing. But I use this cactus to kill them. Hoppers. We had to do some rerouting, rooting. 
whatever this torch and it's just a giant torch tower to go up some babies can get stuck here but it won't actually affect anything because of the iron plate it just affects some baby slimes got stopped in there so if we shove this guy in a bit if I could which I seem to be unable to in you go this is the and I do plan to completely finish if you remember that horse stable everything in building with beta below over there is going to be built it basically will just send them up not the best system ever but works pretty well <laughs> but yeah this is the spiral door you made, you gave me EJ. and that's it that's my world that's everything I can think of definitely everything I have another portal to uh, and guys I haven't like cheated being creative about this whole thing it's a copy so I can test the safety of 1.8.1 pre-1 and it seems to be pretty stable of course I'm in creative mode but yes uh, one thing I will teach you guys the duplication trick and another thing is here is my fishing machine so yeah that's about it I will not build an another iron titan I'm done but yeah it's up to you I have to go edit this probably play some Zelda but thank you guys for watching watch on uh, I've been doing videos way more frequently since I started Zelda so thanks to Ilya and the fourth fox watch on and most things I plan I will see you then